Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Ms. May. On my channel, I do a variety of lifestyle videos. Today's video is going to be a Costco haul with some taste tests. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And now let's dive into this week's haul. So this week we actually bought a lot of lifestyle items from Costco. I just have to give a huge shout out of this. Ever since I'm pregnant, I've been buying shoes at Costco just for comfort. Because before I would go to like different shoe stores to go for like goat walking shoes, but now I only care about the comfort. And these are Skechers Arch Comfort Arch Support Shoes. So these are shoes with arch support and I try these in the store I got the size 6 um, I would say the size is true to size because sometimes like I wear six and a half sometimes I wear six um, these are pretty good like true to size these are about $30 $31 these are really good looking walking shoes and they're just you know slip in um these are perfect because uh, i am almost third trimester and i can't really bend over to tie shoes anymore and these are great walking shoes um especially you know when you're pregnant you kind of want to become comfortable and maintain that balance and what i love about this item is that it's truly truly having the great arch support there are a lot of shoes that claim that they have arch support but they don't but these are actually certified arch support and they come in different colors and these colors are really really pretty i got the color gray and it has a little like color um aqua blue in inside and it looks so pretty and it's so comfortable and it's only 30 dollars and i think they will last for a long time so definitely like if you like walking if you like comfortable shoes get yourself a pair of these they're just so 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 comfortable and they're slip on so i don't have to worry about tying my shoes i try these on super comfortable in store so that's why i bought these a pair of pants 32 degree cool i bought the size large because it comes with strings so why did i buy large it's because um maternity pants are really expensive and they're not comfortable like i bought some maternity maternity pants and leggings they're not comfortable at all like you're so overpriced the materials are not good the fit is not good so my friend actually told me that when she was pregnant she only bought like regular clothes and she only she just went with medium from small to medium to large to extra large so I feel like these are great because it comes with the strings and these are so soft and the waistline it's not too tight and it has a little elasticity right here and what I love about this like this is kind of like a sweatpants at the bottom so even if it runs big or runs long it wouldn't go all the way to touch the floor so I don't have to like <laughs> worry about like taking a walk or whatever like worry about them getting dirty so I got another pair of black sweatpants and I like this brand 32 degree and this is the cool one but I would say these are pretty warm for spring season like it's pretty soft and fuzzy I usually wear small before I was pregnant I wear small but then I started to buy medium and now I'm almost third trimester so I got a pair of large they're pretty comfortable I can just tie it up like they come with strings so I don't waste them and they're so affordable this like this one Brandon saw this and he got so excited I think I'll try to make him to film a little clip when he bake it in the office um these are take and bake sourdough bread certified organic and i think there was one year during super bowl i think we wanted to make like a sourdough like bread bowl but we couldn't find where to get the sourdough that's not like pre-sliced and these are really great they're they're not pre-sliced and they're certified organic um don't microwave it and you just put it in the oven and bake it, um, grill it or toast it. No need to freeze before opening because it's basically vacuum sealed. Let's take a look at the ingredient list. The ingredient list looks pretty good. It has organic unbleached wheat flour, water, sea salt, organic barley malt. So pretty simple ingredient list. If you love sourdough bread, this 
is gonna be the one for you. It comes in three. But Brandon said his co-workers, his work wives really, really like sourdough bread. I think these are amazing, really good ingredients. It's probably the best ingredient, the best bread with the best ingredients um, at Costco <laughs> so far, what, based on what I found. Doing my action shots of mm -hmm. us buttering our Chose. Costco sourdough bread. Oh, let me taste it. Why don't we get half? What the hell? What's wrong with you? Sourdough bread, nice and soft. Ah, they're good. Crunchy outside. Crunchy on the outside. The middle is nice and soft and mushy. Kind of like how sourdough always tastes. Ah, they taste pretty good. I taste better than the one you get from HEB. I like it. Maybe you could do some garlic butter on there too. It'd be even better. Wood bike. Like when you make a cheese board or when you eat it with coffee. This is actually one of my favorite. I like it a lot. I remember liking it a lot. A long time ago, I used to eat it. But one time I went to a party and then the host made a cheese board and I just couldn't stop eating them. So I was like, I might as well just get them. This is um, Thin Addictives. Thin Addictives Cranberry Almond Thin Cookies. It's lightly sweet and crunchy. 75 cookies in 25 packs of three. So they have small packs in these, so I don't overeat them. If you look at the ingredient list, it's actually not too bad. Um, it does have cotton seed oil in the raisins, but in terms of what it has right now, so I, th I don't think it's too bad. This is what the ingredients and the nutrition facts looks like. They don't look too bad. So these are amazing with coffee or with cheese board. Let me open this for you. So look, you can like buy these for your office. It's amazing because it's individually packed, like, you know, office snacks. It has like almonds and cranberries. It's really crunchy and a little bit sweet. Um, the sweetness came from the cranberry and also a little bit in the cookie in the bread. It's kind of like a little bit dry bread cookies and almond. It's just really good texture. It has a lot of almond flavor. I really like this almond flavor. Mmm. So good. Get yourself some of these. Brian's gonna take it to the office to try Giovanni Reina, Italy's most loved brand, organic chicken alfredo with fresh spinach. So basically, it comes with pasta, the sauce, and the grilled white chicken. Um, and it's USDA organic. The nutrition facts. I know some people don't look at nutrition facts. I am not super, super cautious, to be honest, but I always want to be mindful of what I put into my body just to know, to be informed. I think it's important. It is pretty high in sodium, 540 milligrams of sodium, um, but it has 15 grams of protein, which is pretty good. In terms of the ingredient list, of course, it's heavy cream, Parmesan cheese, and whatever. And I don't think it comes with any like super bad stuff, other than the fact that it's pretty high in sodium. In fact, the ingredient looks like if you guys um, are curious about it, and I will make Brandon film a little clips eating this item to give you guys the, like uh, our honest review. This is our first time purchasing this item. Chef Rana's organic chicken alfredo. Let's do it. It's ready in nine minutes and you just make it in the microwave. Specifically says to make it in the microwave. Interesting. We're going to assume we just dump it all in the bowl. Throw this in here. Don't worry guys, I washed my hands. <laughs> Where the heck? This is a heavy bag. Is this beware that separation will occur? <laughs> Looks like Alfredo sauce to me. Get all that gooey, gooey goodness in there. Now I gotta mix it up. Nice. 
spread over sauce evenly. Cover the bowl with a double layer of paper towel. Microwave for 10 minutes. All right, let's do it. Double. Here's double layer of paper towel. Into the microwave, which also was gotten from Costco. Nine minutes. Bam. All right, let's do it. Oops, sorry, shall we? Noodles are hopefully cooked. Looks pretty good. I can feel the steam. All right, let's try it. All right, everybody knows the rule. First bite, here we go. First impression looks pretty good. All right, here we go. Check them out. Chicken is a little hard on the hard side, but it could definitely be softer. The noodles are a nice al dente. I think the flavor's not bad. Tastes like Alfredo. Would buy again? Yes. 8.0. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. I, a little too heavy for me to pick up. This is the Kirkland Signature Organic Chicken Sipping Bone Broth. Um, it comes with six resealable uh, cartons. So I don't actually drink it. Some people drink it in the morning. Bone broth is really good. It has collagen, it has protein. Um, this one comes nine grams of protein and only 95 milligrams of sodium. If you're gonna buy bone broth, make sure it's not high in sodium because you know you don't want to accidentally put like drink take too much sodium. Ingredient list pretty good. They don't have too much additives. They have like some organic flavoring such as the lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and stuff like that. But I actually just use it as my soup base. It's only 45 calories per serving. This is what um, the nutrition facts looks like and the ingredients. You can drink it. I know a lot of YouTubers drink it. I don't. <laughs> I use it when I cook. It's pretty good flavor. I think it has better flavor than regular chicken broth. Is the chocolate milk. So we bought this one because our friend Matt <laughs> drinks it every day at the gym. And um, this item has 30 grams of protein per bottle and only two grams of sugar and 150 calories. And it says no artificial growth hormone use. Um, he said it's one of the few protein drink on the market that he doesn't hate, that it actually tastes good, like without a lot of sugar. I don't think I eat enough protein of protein intake because the amino acids is very important in terms of forming the baby. So I was like, maybe I can drink it from time to time, especially I go to the gym a lot still. The nutrition facts, it seems pretty good. Each serving, each bottle has 150 calories, 2.5 grams of fat. 4 grams of carbohydrates, 1 gram of fiber, and 2 grams of total sugar, 0 added sugar, and 30 grams of protein. So that seems pretty good. So on the surface level, if you just look at the nutrition facts, it may seem like a dream item, an ideal item for protein, but honestly, it's not. Even though we bought it, we're gonna drink it from time to time, but it's not gonna be like our all-time protein replacement. Why? If you look at the ingredient list, it has monk fruit concentrate, which is pretty good. It also has stevia extract, which is pretty good, but it has sucralose. Sucralose is artificial sweetener. So I think what happened is that maybe they're thinking monk fruit extract and stevia taste. Usually like those things, those natural sweeteners has a little aftertaste. So that's why they add a little sucralose in there. But sucralose is actually artificial sweetener. It's not good for you. I try to avoid sucralose as much as I can, but I think if I just take it a little bit right now, it's probably not a too much of a big deal. So we got one pack to try it, but eventually this is not gonna be our like everyday protein replacement because this item on its own, it's not completely clean. It has sucralose, it's not the healthiest protein drink, but because my friend said it actually tastes good, it may motivate me to drink more because I bought a lot of healthy protein powder and I never finished them because they taste so bad. They're healthy, but they taste so bad. 
All right, guys, this is the next day morning. I'm actually drinking this. I don't know if you can see this chocolate milk. And though this is definitely not the healthiest protein drink you can get because it's so close and stuff. Um, but it does have 13 grams of protein drink, uh, protein powder, and it actually tastes really good. It honestly it tastes like chocolate milk, so it's very easy for me to drink the whole bottle. It doesn't taste grainy or anything. So in terms of the taste and flavor, it's 10 out of 10. Ingredient, I will give it 5 out of 10. <laughs> I wish it's better ingredients, but it for sure tastes good. So I can definitely drink it more often and not feel like, you know, drinking nasty stuff. So definitely recommend the chocolate flavor tastes pretty good and is one of the healthier item we got this is the body elmer and we actually bought five case of these because it's limited five per person to purchase so we bought five and these are the low calorie body elmer light sports drink it has no artificial sweetener no sugar added it's low calorie, it has potassium packed electrolytes, antioxidants, and vitamins. This item is very, very clean when it comes to its ingredients. It has a lot of vitamins and folic acid. Basically, this is a very popular item among the pregnancy people. And some pregnant women even drink it before they go in and deliver the baby because it has electrolytes, it keeps yourself hydrated. So I have been working out ever since I am pregnant. I've been keeping my workout, but every time I work out, um, I drink one of this because it's very important. According to my midwife, it's very important to stay hydrated, especially when you're pregnant. Um, but if you do purchase this item, don't drink more than one drink per day or else you're just getting some really expensive fee because you know it has a ton of vitamins and you don't need to drink three bottles of these because there is something called overconsumption of vitamins and basically at the end you're just not absorbing them you're just peeing them out they do taste really really good my favorite is actually the peach mango so yeah definitely recommend this is a healthier drink it doesn't have protein but it's really good for working out if you work out a lot get this one it doesn't have added sugar it has coconut um, water which has natural electrolytes and natural like sweet on its own each bottle is only 20 calories it doesn't have any caffeine um i know a lot of people at the gym they drink a lot of caffeine uh, pre-workout celsius or whatever but it can be very dangerous if you drink caffeine and take a heated class or take caffeine and take a cardio workout because it may increase your heart rhythm by a lot and it may have a adverse effect so if you go to the gym and if you want to drink things with electrolytes, I highly recommend this one. Find your something, find yourself something without caffeine, without the sugar. It's this one is perfect. This item is one of our favorite things uh, from Costco. This is the Unreal Dark Chocolate Coconut Minis. So what I love about this item is that it only have, comes with three grams of sugar and it's from cane sugar it doesn't have any like uh, weird stuff and it also has like cassava syrup and cocoa butter vanilla it doesn't have any like weird additives and stuff and it kind of just tastes like almond joy it's chocolate on the outside and coconut in the inside it tastes really 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 good i really recommend it and the best part is these are individually packaged one of our repurchasers, we got like so many bags of these. So like they look like these inside. So um, you can actually share it and just take some with you when you go to work and stuff. Really good snack. This is what it looks like. It's basically a chocolate candy, um, like Almond Joy. But if you take a bite, ta-da! Inside are basically coconut flakes. Hmm, they're real coconuts too. Tastes just like Almond Joy super good if you like coconut and chocolate this will be perfect snack for you or if you like almond joy all right so the next item this is not for me this is for brenda's work wife she really likes um tyson um his co-worker friend so these are tyson crispy chicken strips fully cooked breaded um breast strips with rib meat in terms of myself, I actually don't buy a lot of these. I don't eat any of these because they're processed meat. They're, 
I eat chicken tenders from here and there from Raisin Cane's, but overall I don't eat it a lot because I know it's not healthy. Might as well just eat chicken. But <laughs> she really likes it. So Brandon bought it for the office. They're gonna eat it together for lunch. Not healthy. Let me tell you why. First of all, um, the bread in the oil, the pre-cooked, the fried, um, it has a ton of fat, it has a ton of sodium. Let's look. It has a ton of fat, a ton of sodium, right? And it has a lot of carbs. Usually if you just eat the chicken, it's gonna be pure protein, but this is not pure. Pro uh, this one has carbs. It also comes with the breading set in the vegetable oil, which is not the best oil. So you might as well just buy chicken and bread it yourself with olive oil or avocado oil. But uh, Brendan's friend really loves this and it was on sale. Um, I would say if you cook it in the air fryer, it actually tastes pretty good. But I don't recommend. I don't. I don't think it's healthy to eat it all the time. I do feel like Brandon lives in a double life. When Brandon's at home, he eats healthy because I make him to. But when he's in the office, it's like a completely different person eating all the Eminems and chicken tenders and the frozen meals that are not completely healthy, high sodium, high carbs. Um, okay, so the next item, next one is my all-time favorite nectarines. These are so much cheaper to buy from Costco because these are six dollars for three pounds and our local grocery store is $3.99 per pound. It's not even close. It's crazy how much the price difference is comparing Costco with our local grocery store. Just get yourself some membership. Like I just love with fruit, like I'm pretty sure I can finish all of these within a week. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and hauling with us. Um, we bought five packs of these, so we spent a lot of money on Costco, but this is not a super long haul because we bought the same item five times. Um, if you have any recommendations, especially healthy recommendations and tasty recommendations from Costco, definitely comment down below. I am pretty health conscious, but I do believe things in moderation. It's not too bad. All right, that's it for today's video. Before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out with the youtube algorithm and the subscribe ring the notification bell next to the subscription button and i hope to see you in my next video bye